Yes, we do feel the pinch. The thing is that the uh, Russian economy is completely self-reliant and self-sufficient. We will survive any kinds of sanctions. Uh, this is number one. Two is that uh, we are surprised how Europeans, how willingly and eagerly they, they are shooting themselves in, in both legs. The Russian ambassador to South Africa says Moscow will weather the storm of sanctions. But Rogachev has warned Europeans to be careful as the sweeping sanctions could backfire. He also says should the no-fly zone be imposed, this could have dire consequences. From the military point of view, uh, the no-fly zone uh, would uh, and should be considered as an act of war. So ramifications could be very, very heavy and uh, unpleasant to all. He says peace talks are continuing and he remains cautiously optimistic that a breakthrough is on the cards. We know that both sides uh, work very hard, almost on a daily basis. And uh, we heard uh, from the Ukrainian side that they do not agree to most of the points that a Russian delegation is making at these negotiations. But uh, they seem to be more and more adequate. But the West says Russia should end the brutal conflict. During this call uh, with uh, uh, President Macron of France, Chancellor Schultz of Germany, Prime Minister Draghi of Italy, and Bo Prime Minister Boris Johnson of the United Kingdom, they discussed their serious concerns about Russia's brutal tactics in Ukraine, including its attacks on civilians. They underscored their continued support for Ukraine, including by providing security assistance to the brave Ukrainians. Meanwhile. Russia says the West has ignored the root causes of the conflict around the expansion of NATO right next to its border. Kyle Kumalo, SABC News, Pretoria.